Do you guys remember Math24 and Study Island? I remember when I was younger, I used to use these platforms all the time. I loved Math24. Math24 was my favorite one. Study Island was cool, but it was more like actually learning. The Math 24 felt like a game. You had to compete with class, your classroom. You got stickers, your school was in a class. You see which class is the best and was the smartest. And it felt like just awesome competition. I know this is maybe a little too late for some people or way too early for some people, but again, I was born 1998. So again, it's that perfect time for where you learn technology, but it was still also fun and creative still. And I loved it so much. I remember competing to be top three in the class and trying to be the top in the school. And like, maybe I was just a nerdy kid, right? But I enjoyed it. It was fun. And I know other people in the class also enjoyed it. They found it fun. It was cool because learning can be fun. It was gamified, but it was like the early version of gamifying something, making it fun, enjoyable, getting stickers in the class. And remember, it wasn't even homework. It was just kind of like something you did. It was like an expectation that the class did well. It was like this pure pressure that everyone wanted to succeed and do well in. And it was cool because it also gave us an excuse to use the computers. And honestly, this game genuinely improved my thinking skills and allowed me to like being a student. And it was cool because it tricked me, right? But it has the best kind of learning is when you're tricked into learning something. You're tricked into having better creative skills, thinking skills, critical thinking skills. And that was kind of the cool part. And again, if you don't know what Math24 is, Math24 is a mathematical game in where it gave you numbers and a little slot where you had to combine these numbers in some sort of way in order to get 24. So again, the whole game was just get 24, get 24. And there were different ways to do it. Study Island, however, was again a game in where it was gamified. There's certain things you could do within it, like play certain types of games after you got the answer right. But all in all, it was basically a multiple choice or questionnaire thing where you kind of learn things as you went. You got the proficiency, you got the little blue flag check and on the island and then boom, you were proficient and the teacher would see, oh, they passed this, this, this. So now they got this lesson. So it was again a supplement to what the teacher was already teaching you, which I thought was nice and it was fun and all, but again, Math 24, elite. Study Island, a genuinely great learning tool. I will say though, Study Island had this really cool feature in where it allowed teachers to kind of give you assessments and test you and kind of push you to learn different things. And it was very knowledgeable and it was nice. But again, it also gave you a bunch of tests over and over again, because again, the more repetition you got, the better it was. Math 24 was more gamified and it was just random numbers that you needed to make 24 into. And again, Math 24 is what I use more in elementary school, but middle school was more of a study island. So the older you got, the less fun it got. But again, was still a great learning tool. But me personally, I don't know if these learning tools still exist for children now. Because nowadays, I feel like they're just behind the iPad, they're behind the phones, but they're not using these tools anymore. Are they going home and jumping on Math 24? I don't know if they are. If you are an educator or know a kid or you're a parent and you know this, let me know because I'm curious as well because I don't know really what the vibes are anymore. But when I was in school, I remember Math 24 and Study Island. And again, Study Island was better for preparing you for standardized testing, goal setting. It showed you your assessment. It showed you your progress. You got you got to see it over the year. It was awesome. And again, it helped. And I thought genuinely it was a good tool. But then came the internet. Then came phones. Then came the modern social media age of how are kids going to be entertained to do math, to do these knowledgeable things, to improve their critical thinking skills. Again, if you're an educator, teacher, or a parent, please let me know in the comments down below, like, what you have gone through and what you see currently or what are some good tools right now that exist that I may not know or things that are comparable because I'd love to see and try it out. So thank you again for tuning in. Please leave those comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. I want to know more about this. So again, looking forward to learning from you as well. I'll see you next week. See you later.